I'm Nikki Blyle, Dr. Help's lead information developer. Welcome to the Dr. Help video tutorial series. Today I'm going to discuss all of the outputs you can create with Dr. Help. With Dr. Help, you can create nine different outputs from a single project. Your project itself can include Word documents, HTML documents, or you can author in Dr. Help's built in HTML5 content editor. Mixing different types of documents in one project is no problem at all because Dr. Help makes it easy to work the way you want to work but still produce all the outputs you need. Let's look at our choices. NetHelp NetHelp is content that opens in a web browser. NetHelp files can be posted on the web, on a server, installed locally, or all three. Dr. Help's NetHelp uses the latest web technologies such as HTML5 and jQuery, and is easy to customize. DoctorHelp includes a responsive NetHelp theme, which you can use to deliver outputs for both desktop and mobile devices, because it adjusts to screen sizes and is touch enabled. Manuals. DoctorHelp produces print outputs that are ready to go out of the box and include a front cover, a table of contents, footers, index, and more. Manual formats are Word.doc and .docx and PDF. HTML help. This is the familiar .chm or chum file, compiled HTML help. This is a popular output for desktop software applications. EPUB. EPUBs are interactive books that can be read on e-readers, such as Kindles and Nooks, tablets, phones, PCs, Macs, and more. Eclipse Help. Eclipse Help is used in applications developed in Eclipse, which is an open source development environment from IBM. Java Help. Java Help is a help solution for pure Java applications. Java Help 1.1.3 is supported, as well as Java Help 2.0. WinHelp. WinHelp is one of the original Microsoft Help formats, and many still need to deliver it. Microsoft Help Viewer and Microsoft Help 2.0. If you are delivering help that needs to integrate with Visual Studio, you should use Help 2.0 for Visual Studio 2002 through 2008 and Microsoft Help Viewer in 2010 and above. Dr. Help outputs both. In addition, you can generate API reference sections using Dr. Help's Sandcastle plugin. All you need to do to build any output is choose it from the Select Target dropdown and click the Build button. Nothing else about your project needs to change. Dr. Help handles the conversion for you. One more output I didn't mention, you can also publish your content to a SharePoint Wiki to create a collaborative environment for your team, your customers, or both. So that's actually 10 outputs. As you can see, with Dr. Help, you can produce any output you need while still working in the environment you prefer. To learn more and download a free trial, go to doc2help.com. Thanks for choosing Doc to help.